Hi, I just got back from singing at a funeral with my dad and there was a package for me at my parents' house. And uh, a few weeks ago I got an email that said, do you want to write on your blog about our water flosser? And I said, okay, whatever, what's my next engineering project? And then a few days later, I got an email saying, well, what's your shipping address? We want to send you our flosser. Is that corruption? If they send me free stuff and want me to write about it, I got to be really careful about this because uh, corruption's a bad thing. So just be totally transparent here. What this apparently is, is a Chinese water pick or water flosser. So I'll uh, open it up and see what it looks like. It looks like it has two pick, uh, two tips. I'm curious about what that is. We'll have to look at that. Here are two more tips and a power cord. Looks like we got his and hers. That's kind of cute. And a USB-ish type uh, power cord. It looks like these tips are a different kind of plastic, maybe polyethylene, as opposed to the glass ish uh, tip on my water pick. Uh, that'll be interesting to try. Here's the uh, compact ish uh, actual water pick unit. A lot smaller than my water pick. I probably am using a brand name, I should say water flosser. Uh, doesn't hold as much water, but I like miniatures, so we'll try. And this must be the, the base, stand, whatever. All right, now I've got everything unwrapped and I'm ready to see how it all goes together. This thing is a USB power cord. How in the world are we gonna get enough power, I wonder, with a USB cable? Looks like I gotta do a little more figuring on this thing. I can't really tell what's up. Hang on, I'll pause it a little longer. Okay, this thing slides off, and there's this little draw straw, draw tube that draws it up, and uh, that's the reservoir. Now, I had trouble with the water pick having too small a reservoir, and this is even smaller, so. Uh, this will be interesting. It's got this little, um, I guess that's a fill hole, and this is the draw hole. Alright, well, let's see how it goes. Uh, I guess that's it. Got my Skylanders portal of power, or whatever you call it here. Uh, all right, and then I guess I stick one of these, there we go, pretty intuitive, uh, how do I get it off, oh, oh, it's chargeable, uh, uh oh, I gotta figure out how to get that tip off, <laughs> ah, there's a little button right there, Bing. okay, this is a brushy tip. This is the regular tip that I probably will use. And well, that's hers. But I don't need a hers, unless my daughter wants to use one, not at the moment at least. And uh, there's the his. And what is this? Does that come off? It does come off. I'll have to read about that and see if I can figure out what that funny looking cone is for this thing. Hang on. Well, this stuff's kind of interesting. I got a Yashi warranty card. Yashi? Then I got want to get free gift. Looks like I already got free gift. And I got a Yashi. 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 Yais? Yashi? Yais. Oh, got a little typo. Yais Yasi Oral Irrigator Model YS831. Well, let me see if I can figure out what that little cone is right now. It's on. It's 
Sorry, just trying to figure out my video recorder. Uh, by the way, the instructions come in English, Francais, however you say that, German, Italiano, Espanol, and I've still got to find out what that conical. Well, there's no indication in that manual about a purpose for this cone, so I'm going to assume it's just a temporary protector. This, let's compare these two tips. Um, one has a bigger hole than the other, and I can't figure out this camera because I'm not experienced at this. So I guess I choose whichever one I want. I'm going to probably gravitate to one of the one with the smaller hole. I found out I'm supposed to charge this thing eight hours before I use it. Hopefully I didn't void the warranty by turning it on. And uh, I'm also supposed to clean and dry it so as not to propagate bacteria. And I'll probably ignore that just like I do with my water pick. I'll charge it for eight hours and then maybe finish the video. One last thing before I charge it. There's no handy dandy place to, to store the um, tips that I can see. I'll keep looking here for just a little second. I'll wait. There's something going on here. I'm working on this. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to open that. No user serviceable parts inside. I, I, wait, I bet. What is going on here? Is this like, oh, this must be a charging dock. Oops. Let me put this back. So that was not the handy dandy storage place for the uh, tips. All right. Don't get in there. I guess the tips go on a shelf in my closet and I'll charge this and record more later. Thanks. Okay, I just got back from plugging in the water flosser. My Yassi water flosser is charging and I had to find my own little USB charger plug thing. And that's it. We'll see in eight hours or more. How it goes. Hello, it's been a few weeks now since I opened this Yasi irrigator and I've used it a few times, which I guess means that it has not become my everyday irrigator. I delayed quite a while because I really don't like the idea of giving an unflattering review. And the Yasi irrigator is not a piece of junk. It works just fine. It irrigates my teeth just fine. I did not find this square, this square ended tip very comfortable with comparison to the water pick uh, glass, smooth glass, po rounded pointed end tip. But I don't think that's completely a barrier to using it. I was able to use it and get somewhat comfortable using it that way. I'm not a fan of cordless devices for, you know, all purposes. I don't see why this couldn't plug in if I'm just going to use it at the same place by the sink every day, but that really is not a real issue at all, maybe, decisively for me. It has plenty of power and its settings are just fine. Although the infinitesimal knob of the water pick that goes from zero up to 10 might be better, I don't know. I found the biggest inconvenience to be the size of this water tank. The first time I used it, I had to refill the water tank more than five times it took more than five tanks of water uh, to irrigate my teeth. Once I got more accustomed to the irrigator, it took me at least four refills to do my teeth. The problem with that is I would lose my place on my teeth. And it's, it's kind of a bad deal. And so I, if, if I had a recommendation to Yasi, it would be to make this tank four times as big. It's not that heavy and uh, it really needs to be bigger so that it can last an entire 
session of, of irrigating your teeth. That, other than that and the uh, square tip, I would have been just fine having this as my everyday irrigator and I still, I could, other than the tank, I would be happy with this uh, as my everyday irrigator. Almost as happy as with the water pick. And I'm sorry I couldn't give a glowing wonderful review and I am very appreciative to Yasi for letting me look at their irrigator free of charge.